HBO Mo. What are you using in 2022? Well, ladies and gentlemen, your boy Mike Waltray is coming to you with a video that was uh, inspired by by one of the homies, one of the subs. First things first, you like to see, you know what I'm saying, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not, and you'll turn on those notifications so you'll get in, you'll know when my videos go live um, as we make our way to 2K. But you know, without further ado, let's get into it. So, yo, shout out to shout out to Herb Wars. Uh, we were playing with Welcome to Die and some Tekken on his live stream and we were just discussing you know stuff that goes on and whatnot and yeah he was like yo what do you use when you're like doing stuff and i'm like you mean like creating or what and he's just like yeah all of it and i started to get into it but i was like yo it's kind of long and he's like yo you should just make a video about it and i'm like huh probably maybe but i sat back and i thought about it afterwards and i was like yo it doesn't take that long there's only one thing that i really use it's this, yo, the Master Sword. Be out here, unsheathing every time we make a video, and this thing makes the content for me. No? No, that's not it? Okay. <laughs> Fine. It's not the Master Sword. But it's a lot of stuff that I use. Uh, for those who know, not only do I make content here on YouTube, make videos and whatnot, but I also live stream on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Michael Trades YT. And so... A lot of the stuff that I'm using right now, it's kind of like, it's stuff that not only do I use for content creation or for videos, but just, you know, random stuff that I might need to do. So, here's the list. Here's the, here's the things that I use, and maybe you can pick some of these up, or maybe some of it will help you in the future. So, let's start with the lighting. The, the main reason, people are like, you know, you look like such a douche because you wear, you wear sunglasses. Um, I have bright lights behind me. I don't know if you guys can see that, but like this is a pretty much a dark room and there's no other lights on right now. Um, so I'm currently using a 10 inch ring light, you know, like, like a, like an e-girl, Hawaii. Uh, <laughs> it's two, I have two, I want to say these are three by five, um, rectangular lights. And then I also have a four by six or five by seven rectangular light that came out of the Atrix streaming kit video that I did back from GameStop and it gets up to like 60 600 lumens and it's bright AF you know what I mean so that's what I'm using for my lighting so it's that's why I'm using glasses most of the time you know sunglasses for that because you know even wearing these blue light glasses you know it still it still puts a strain on the eyes especially when you're streaming all day and and whatever else or if you're making videos or whatever else uh, the camera that I'm using, which I did a review on, you guys saw it was night and day, remember this whole gimmick like that, is the Elgato face cam. It's, I got it for $199, it's $199, uh, full 1080, 60, so legit 60 frames per second, you know what I mean? And it picks up all the details and everything else of your face, even if you don't want them to, <laughs> it does. So, I'm using that. Um, I have three monitors, like I said, I do a lot of stuff, so... Um, I have a 27 inch LG ultra wide, uh, monitor, uh, 75 frames or whatever. Um, I forget the model number on it, but it's something dumb. All I know is that you can go look it up on new egg right now and it's still like 659. So it's almost $700. Um, I have an HP 24 inch gimmick, uh, that they sell Walmart for like 140 or whatever else. And speaking of Walmart, I have an on 24 inch Walmart, uh, monitor. I don't know how much it costs. I think it's like 100 or 120. Um, I got those two monitors together for a deal for 40 bucks from somebody off of Facebook Marketplace. So, yeah, that was a, that was definitely a come up. Um, I use a Corsair, what is it, a K55 RGB keyboard. Um, it's like 60 bucks. It's not nothing super spectacular. It's just there to get the job done when I need to do a lot of heavy typing and you know what I'm saying working on certain things or whatnot. Don't want to divulge all the information, but uh, yeah, it's quiet, but it but it feels like there's like you know what I'm saying it's quiet, but it feels like there's like you know, got like cherry switches under it and whatnot. So yeah, it feels it feels really good. I have an Elgato Stream Deck, which controls all the scenes and stuff. If I want to switch between something or you know what I mean, something of that nature, or if I was you know recording to footage, like I can just switch scenes and. 
you know, we can, we can be in, we can be in just chatting or something like that, or, you know, whatever else. Or if I want people to acknowledge me, which let's, let's let, which let's not do that. Cause I don't want to get copyrighted today, <laughs> but you know, it's pretty much macros, you know, and it's 2022. I don't know if you necessarily need a stream deck in 2022. You could probably find somebody to like script it, you know what I'm saying? And, and code up like a cheap keyboard, like a number keypad or whatever, and you can make your own, but for convenience, it's just, it's easier to have an Elgato stream deck. Speaking of Elgato, I am running an Elgato HD 60 plus S plus, which allows me to catch your gameplay in like 4k 60. So whenever you see a stream and I'm streaming on the PS five or, or a series S or whatever, like, you know what I'm saying? Like it's pure, like it's pure 4k 60. You're getting the video, which is a detriment sometimes because the HDR is kind of dark and then I have to readjust the picture and rich quality and whatnot. So that's, that's part of it. It sucks. Um, also, I have uh, a powered USB 3.0 hub. Like with all the devices that I'm running, it takes a lot of power, and the motherboard's not able to like compensate for all that power. So I need an external source to, to be able to power all that stuff. So the the, the stream deck, the which is funny because even the Elgato has its own like power source. Like it's it's in the motherboard and it has its own. Um, our extender thingy. I'm gonna look really dumb because I can't remember the name of it, but I have to use that as a separate slot because it takes that much power. The uh, the way you guys hear my voice right now, this is my normal voice. And so I know that I'm recording a YouTube video, but I think the mic's good enough to pick up my voice like this. The voice that you are hearing is coming through the Samsung Q9R. And it's a direct competitor to the $400 Shure microphone which also requires its own power source. It's a USB and XLR microphone and I'm running it through voice mod so I can do stuff like this. So when I'm talking, I'm like, you mother, you know what I'm saying? It's a bleep because, you know, I do stream in the daytime and, you know, a lot of people you can't have that when you're watching at work. Yo, shout out my people at work to work, right? Or if I want to do something fun like this and you hear me talking like this, you know what I mean? Like you have to be able to do goofy stuff. So, you know what I mean? And, that, and that's also part of the other reason why I have a stream deck. So I could do the goofy stuff like that. Again, twitch.tv slash Mike Valtrez YT if you guys want to see that kind of content. Um, so yeah, microphone's great. And that, and the USB, like I said, plug it in. It's an XLR though, it is. But I'm running it through USB right now because I don't have space on my desk to plug up a, an audio interface. You know what I mean? I, don't, I have a Behringer from one of my old mics. But, you know, like, I don't have space for it to plug it in, you know. And then plus, voice mod gives me enough control to where I can edit the output of the volume and mess with the sources. Although I am looking at the Wave XLR because I saw that and it, and it gives a lot of uh, a lot of choices and control as well. Um, I have two. I have two four terabyte hard drives because of content creation, because of videos. Etc. Etc. So I have an internal hard drive that's in the external case, and I have a four terabyte external case that's external that's just back there uh, in the office right now. There is a Xbox uh, One X, there is a PS5, and there is a Switch OLED. Like I said, I do a lot of uh, I do a lot of streaming, you know, and you know we, when we switching games on the fly or whatever. You know, we need to be able to have fun. That being said, there also is a 4K switcher. I have a 4K switcher. Um, everything runs 4K 60, which is connected to the to the capture card. And we just switch over and, and everything else. On the rare currents that I need one, I have an Elgato Chatlink Pro. This thing right here. And I'm not going to be able to hold it up because it's connected. Oh, wait. Yes, I can. Uh, you know, if you've had Chatlinks, you know what I'm saying? You want to get one of these. It's a braided cable now. I mean, it, re it renew, removes the, uh, it isolates the noise that comes if you need to plug up a controller or whatever else. And it's just an overall better product. Let's see, what else we got? My PC. They're the brains of the everything. All right, my PC's not like some killer, like $10,000 thing. Let's not be real. Let's be, let's be real with ourselves, right? Um, it's It's got like a Ryzen 5, uh, gosh, I don't remember what the hell it is. I could probably pull it up right now and read it off. You know what I mean? But it's like a Ryzen 5, I think it's like a 5500 in it, whatever. It's got 32 gigs of GDDR4 uh, RAM. It's like frequent at like 3600. I don't remember the brand, but it's RGB. You know what I mean? 
and it's it's funny because I'm gonna remember what it is later, and it's gonna make me mad. I think it's like I think it was it's I don't know if it's uh, Corsair or not, but I don't remember. Okay, and then um, let me see what else we got in there. The graphics card is nothing special. It is a a GeForce GTX 1650 Super. You know what I mean? Um, I've been trying to get a new graphics card, <laughs> but they're never in stock. And if they're never in stock, I can't get one. So, yeah. But graphics card is good enough. It's uh, it can do. It runs GTA 5 in like 4K at 132 frames per second right now. Currently, um, plays Monster Hunter World just fine. When Rise comes out later this month, we'll be playing Rise on that. So, you know, it's good for what it's good for. Mainly this PC, I use it for content creation and editing anyway. Um, which that was one of the questions he wanted to know. What do I use to edit with? And I use DaVinci Resolve 17. I figure if movie studios can use it and whatever else, I can use it too. Uh, DaVinci Resolve, it's, it's free. You know what I'm saying? It's nice. It's really CPU intensive. So you need to have a good processor in there to run it. So you can't just put a potato in there. You know what I'm saying? Especially with the new updates. It definitely made it. Uh, It's a lot more intensive than 16 was. So that's something you might want to keep in mind. I know 14.4.2.1 uh, came out, but I'm still running 14.4 question mark or 17.31 or something like that. So whatever. But yeah, DaVinci Resolve. Uh, my PC has a, uh, I think it's like a one terabyte SSD in it. So it's not, it's not slow or anything like that at all. It's a good PC. I just know that I, uh, I need another one. And I think, I think as tech people, we all need more PCs, right? Uh, the mat's nothing special. It's just a mat. Um, when I'm editing whatever, or I need to feel bass, or I just want to want to hear something loud, or if I'm watching like a video, like watching one of Peta's videos, or Michael B, or Retro Ralph, whenever he releases one, or console kits, whatever, I have Logitech. Uh, I'm saying system so with, the, with the subwoofer, and I pretty much got it for the subwoofer. You know what I'm saying? The subwoofers and the two speakers on the side to side. You know they're great. Uh, my daily drivers are the the Sony Pulse 3D headsets. Um, I run this in my system with a 3.5 millimeter head jack so I can hear everything, so I can hear the peaks and the highs and the lows whenever I'm editing a video. You know what I mean, like they're great. You can do Bluetooth headsets and whatever else. Um, I just like the wired feel for it. So like if you guys saw the Mike Tyson punch out video where I'm like, Rev, Rev wants me to dab, you know, and shout out to Rev. If Rev wants me to dab and the core comes out, I don't hear it because it's plugged into the interface. Oops. <laughs> um, and you know what I'm saying the mouse is a uh, I didn't show the mouse, but it's a Logitech uh, five a G five twenty two or something like that. Uh, the G oh my bad the Logitech G five hundred two Hero. That's what it is. It's weighted. You know what I mean. So it's got little got little weights to keep keep it keep it down and stuff and whatever else. It, it gives it more heft to it. So when I'm like navigating with it, it feels better. The last and final thing. Is the Batman. The Batman provides me with all the bad sugar and stuff that I need if I need to, um, you know, have something to snack on. You know, if I wanted to, to reach up there and I need a little jolt of energy or whatever else, right? And I want to have a York peppermint patty or something like that. Yo, the Batman provides it. And since he's the Batman, he sits on top of the, the Hall of Justice. So, <laughs> and yeah, so that's, that's that. That's pretty much, um, Everything else besides, you know, controllers and fight sticks and raspberry pies and, you know, like I said, we do all kinds of stuff, man. Like, literally, we pivoted so hard. Wednesday, I ended up streaming PlayStation Classic Games and Sega Genesis Classic Games because, you know, it's just random like that. But besides all the statues and the arcade stuff and whatever else, um, I thought about maybe doing an arcade room tour, but it's not, it's not even ready to go yet. It's not set up. Like, literally, I just got these in. I got these in some of my favorite games and I need to hang them up. You know, they're tens, they're, they're homages to, to the games that I love, you know, especially, uh, especially Marvel superheroes. I'm still mad that doesn't have the juggernaut on it, but you guys know, um, it's like that sometimes. So yeah, that's, that's my current setup here in January. Oh, before I forget, yo, because I won Kong's, uh, Kong's Russ's Amazon giveaway, I was able to get a green screen kit. So I have a uh, I have a green screen. I haven't used it yet because there hasn't been a real, real need to. And then you know, 
talking to chat chats like oh well we like your background and you might not need a a green screen kit but there might be a occasion where it's required we don't know yet you know but that's what i got besides all the hats and and everything else you know that's that's the stuff that i'm rocking with um so there you go or boys i told you i'd uh herb i told you i'd knock out this video for you and there it is um you know, thank you guys for watching you know what i'm saying let me know what do you guys think oh is it pretty low i think it's pretty low tier myself but um sephiroth said it's okay and i'm looking at sephiroth you guys don't know dude i like i love the batman and sephiroth you know what i mean like legit like there's a sephiroth statue uh back there next to the oled <laughs> but let me know what you guys think man yo do you think what do you guys think i should change out or if there's something different that i should get besides a new graphics card which is one of the things where it's like i don't want to get a new graphics card i want to just get a new pc you know what i mean um Yo, let me know. Anyway, I'm Mike Valtrades. Yo, like, share, subscribe to the video, comment below. Thank you guys for watching it. Uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Later.